Good morning, everyone. This is Marianne with Akashic Inspirations, and today is Wednesday, 12 12 of 2012. Beautiful, beautiful energies today. Um, I started my day actually at midnight last night by saging my house with that beautiful sage bundle that Stasha Eve sent me along with my smudge fan. And then I went into a meditation where I actually fell asleep, but I know that it's charged. And this morning I was up early to see the beautiful messages that I received um, from um, Earth Mother UK, Mandy. Beautiful reading. And um, I haven't been able to check out the other ones yet, but um, I was went into my records this morning and um, I wanted messages from... Um, perhaps Metatron or Archangel Michael or Divine Feminine. And I was graced by receiving messages from all three, which you can check out on my blog at akashicinspirations.com. But basically, I'll give you um, a small recap. Metatron came in and spoke of how we are all light holders and light bearers. And um, that we will, um, that we need to go into healing of each other and ourselves and that eventually it will get to such that the energies will be that all will be able to do healing and therefore all heal themselves um, as a total and that this, the, the saturation point in the energies will be reached so that this information that we are bringing forward as light bearers will then um, go out into the whole. Um, Archangel Michael came in and spoke about truths, about absolute truths, that all angelic helpers are here for us. We only need ask. They will provide us strength and love and truth to be able to create what we want into manifestation. They lend us our strength. We use their energies, but it is us, we, who are the creators. Um, the Divine Feminine came in as a group. Um, some that I don't even know of and some that I do. Um, we have Seshat, Mother Mary, Kwan Jin, Tara, Lady Nada, Paravati, Athena, Ferdidi, the Bridgets, White Buffalo Calf Woman, uh, the Atlantean Motherhood, which I'm not familiar with, but the Syrian Starlights, the Sisterhood of Crystals from Lemuria. All of them are coming through and providing us with a pink, iridescent, swirling colors of light so today I'm using I'm here with my beautiful palm stone that Stasha sent to me of the rose quartz and um, my three Lemurians the one that Stasha sent to me and other two that I have I've got our our representative of the Holy Family here and my beautiful angel was which was given to me as a gift as she holds the golden heart to her chest so I've pulled nine cards. Three of them are from the Angels of Atlantis. Then I have three from the Ascended Masters and three from the Goddess Tarot by Chris Walter. Um, we'll start with the, the Angels, Divine Message. Ha ha ha. Metatron with Divine Intelligence. Uh, how appropriate that he's coming through now with this information. Um, here we have the Akashics, of course, the Akashic books with the white light of um, of pure divine inspiration. And he, Metatron is a conduit for the divine. And um, he's speaking to you through your thoughts and feelings. This is how you connect to the Akashics. It also asks you to follow your instinct and inspiration. Um, he is a he is actually the teacher. Metatron is the teacher angel. It says all um, genius arrives arises from source, and in the moment that you are receiving this holy manna, because your soul is a temple for the divine, therefore you may dispense the glory of the divine through each of your creations. Rest in silence as you receive Metatron's teaching. So it's basically telling us to go within to be able to access this divine intelligence and knowledge as to what we need to be doing now in this plane. The second card is oh, Raziel with intuition. How appropriate with that deep 
purple of the of the um, crown chakra and all of these multitude of lights these are the angels you're, where you're in complete alignment with all your chakras that's what's happening today a beautiful beautiful message from Raziel um, let me come, go to the book because I really want to bring forth the messages that were meant to come out it says um, that they want us to turn inward again intuition to trust our inner wisdom to listen carefully to these um, inspirations that we're receiving if we're called to teach if we're called to heal to write music uh, to work in nature um, it's a one with our inner intelligent and wants us to be awake to these whisperings of what it is that we need to be doing now now is the moment and the last card oh Uriel with abundance I love look at that pink that pink aura here and these multicolor swirls that's that's the divine coming in that divine feminine giving us a small message here as well that this is here we see the tree of life and it's brought into the flow of our life at this moment um, that the core of all abundance is our source our divine source and when we feel that we are in the flow of this source that uh, to uh, be positive in our faith to have faith that all is um, is for us and to have gratitude for all that we have in our life it says I their affirmation is I am infinitely abundant in spirit I have plenty of wealth and my riches increase every day and so it is and so it shall be beautiful beautiful messages this morning and we go on to our ascended masters, wow, Quan Jin with Let It Go, the Lady of Compassion, the Lady of Mercy. She was part of the group that came in this morning with her beautiful messages of allowing the universal flow to come to us. Um, allow it to work through us, to release any frustrations or blocks that we're feeling. That we open your heart to yourself in compassion. Open yourself to forgiveness of yourself and others. And trust that the universe is on our side. And be gentle. Be gentle with ourselves. The beautiful lotus flower. This white aura around her with all of the stars crowning her as an ascended master. She's pouring back loving compassion down into the earth. She's here with us to work with us. Beautiful, beautiful messages. <laughs> I know Stasha's going to be crying her about now. The peace offering with white buffalo calf woman. She as well has come in um, to my writings this morning and now she makes her appearance in the cards. These are obviously, all of these are the divine feminine's uh, messages to us. Um, it's to resolve any misunderstandings, to forgive to allow peace and compassion. She's mirroring the message of Quan Jin that these healing energies of love and compassion is how we will um, rise in our wisdom. Um, White Buffalo Calf Woman um, is a prophetess of the Lakota Native Indians. Um, she presented the Lakotas with the special pipe to amplify the power of their prayers and to bridge a connection between earth and heaven, of course, the peace pipe, and that she promised she would return to help bring unity and peace to earth, which is to me what her message was today, that she is returning to instill harmony and peace and love in all re relationships. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> I feel like crying. Nurture yourself with Mother Mary. Allow the love that they have for us to come into your being. Take care of yourself. Love yourself as you love others. Take care of your body. Detoxify, cleanse not only yourself, but the earth. Um, you'll find that you can have more energy and abundance and peace through meditations, um, through nurturing your inner child. Allow her loving embrace and that pink, translucent, swirling energy. She's here to nurture us. This this was their message to us this morning. Wow. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I think I'm a little overwhelmed. Okay. So now we're going to go on to 
the um, Goddess Tarot. This one I get over here. Okay, Ace of Swords this morning. The Sword of Truth. This is definitely Archangel Michael in the house. I just know it. I can feel his um, that he's bringing his truths to us. We're going to be um, able to see them for ourselves. Um, that we will be focused. That we will, um, you know, I was thinking about yesterday in our priorities. We will be allowed to cut away everything that no longer serves us. That no longer has um, validity in our lives. And be able to, with our pointed wisdom and understanding, um, come into play. And it's you've got the pyramids here in the background with the symbol of the Ankh there. This is Isis, the Egyptian goddess of wisdom and fertility. Um, it's to use your pure understanding and wisdom, your pure ability to wield and have clarity and good judgments and to know the truth. So Archangel Michael, definitely in the house. Eight of staves or eight of wands. That means that things that were previously hidden, information that was previously hidden from us is going to come to light now. Um, everything is going to come together and have meaning. You're going to have communications. Uh, you're going to have movement. Um, you'll see here the storm clouds. You've got the lightning, but you've got the sun here in the corner, see if you can see that, coming out to illuminate. And you've got all of these little green shoots on the staffs. That means that things are coming about quickly. They're being born. They're being brought into um, our reality, that we're able to finally put everything together. There's uh, quickness, energetic movement. I wanted to read a little something that I read that I thought was really important. It says... Um, um, that they're bringing the release of the sun. So a lot of sun energy here in this card, actually. And the last one, oh boy, king of, king of wands, king of staves. If you'll see, I don't know if you can see this, down here on his coat or his robe, he has suns that are embroidered. And this one I definitely want to read to you because it is the 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 divine masculine coming through it's a mastery um, it says he is seated upon his throne and dressed in heavy robes decorated with golden embroidery depicting the sun the king of staves is the epitome of the sun's power his regal expansive and energizing personality creates opportunities when none existed before his authority enables him to make sure these opportunities will reach fruition the king of staffs has the happy talent of inspiring growth in others through warmth of his supportive friendship and enthusiasm. And the meaning is mastery over business ventures, dynamic, stable enthusiasm, the ability to bring ideas to fruition. Someone who symbolizes these strengths, creative inspiration and help. So we're having, I believe in these cards, these from the goddess tarot is actually a message from the divine masculine and saying that the sun is here the sun is here to reveal the truths that archangel michael is bringing in that we have our divine feminine of Quan jin white buffalo calf woman mother mary giving us love and protection and embracing us that we have archangel metatron giving us divine intelligence and wisdom raziel telling us use your intuition and uriel assuring us abundance Wow, beautiful. I'm so looking forward to the red tent later on this morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm hoping that we'll have a, a surprise visitor and um, Debbie and I, from Debbie from Glammy Witch and I, are going to be speaking to you about different things that you can do on the 21st and also apply it for today. I have a few things, a um, few meditations I've added to my playlist that you could check out that is just lovely that I've been doing in the last few days. All of the light workers, I mean, I've been looking at Diane Hall, Earth Mother UK, Tony Walker, Stasha Eve. Stasha, I have to tell you what you said yesterday about healing. Um, and going into working with specifically with healing for next year 
really, really resonated with me. And um, I think the message from uh, Metatron and from Archangel Michael uh, came through very clear that that um, is something I also need to be doing. Um, I do have healing abilities. I, I, am, I have studied um, the 13th octave Laho Chi, which is from the Council of Love, Linda Dillon, um, Andrea, Andreina Womut, my best, best friend from the AMA Healing Center. And um, I have wonderful teachers and can do long distance healing. So I'll be adding that soon um, for going into this new year. Um, but I want to send you many blessings today. Um, wonderful energies, absorb them, put them into your heart and give them out to others. Let the love and support that is there for us from the angelic realms to, to cover you and to keep you. I send you many blessings today. Namaste.